I just knew almost instantly that this was going to be the place for me. College was going to be uh, a good place to spend four years. Even just not being around my friends on, on a daily basis, it's definitely going to be tough. Just the community sense here, everyone knows each other. There was a lot of outlets for me to, to get involved in right away. Learning from those failures, I'll be able to get back up and just keep going and be successful in my life. It was such a rewarding experience. I've been given tools for success. It's up to me to utilize them. Being able to leave, you know, a couple years later with a strong foundation and, and a path in life. When I first came to Carthage, I, it was kind of like a fresh start for me. It was kind of rough to transition going into middle school and high school and trying to make new friends with that. And so I looked at Carthage as kind of a fresh start. My first impressions of Carthage were that it was a little too small for me. Um, I came on a very beautiful day over my spring break senior year with my mother. I was so, so nervous my first day. It just seemed kind of overwhelming, I was scared. My first impression of Carthage was that it was a place that was gonna be very welcoming. Everyone here is so incredibly nice. Just nicer than nice to me, and I just, that really stuck in my brain. It was a really warming and welcome place. My tour guide was amazing, just had a good time with him, and he actually took me to see a lot of his friends. I remember seeing all the plants everywhere in the lake, and I just couldn't believe that that was a college, and I was really excited about it. The first thing I seen was a lake, and I was like, wow, that's awesome. That's pretty sick. I love the lake. I love the small classes. I love, I don't know, I just love it here. It was very, very cold, but it was very beautiful all the same. This was a great place, and that this was going to be my home for the next four years, and, and I was okay with that. So coming to Carthage, I was just kind of open to whatever would happen, and meeting new people, having new experiences, and just trying, trying to connect with people. Just looking at it as this is my opportunity now that we're all starting off kind of on the same page and I'm just going to take advantage of it. After taking a couple of campus visits at different schools, I realized that this was the place for me. There's a very good support system here, especially through living in the dorms. Your friends are very close to you. If you're struggling with anything, your friends are there for you. Getting on campus, just seeing the atmosphere, it just, I just felt the energy and I was like, you know what, I could, do, I could have fun here. This could be a great time, so I was really excited. They learn to live in a relatively small community. And it's so close-knit that you can just really talk to somebody and figure it out and learn so much from each other. It was challenging, not only to adjust, but to see the same people and make sure we were all getting along. I just really had a hard time going from like having my home life and you know, doing my thing and being with my family to living on a floor where I was constantly bombarded with different social opportunities. Right away within my orientation group I met one of my best friends now, Julie Madden. We hit it off right away and we were able to just connect and start chatting. Early on I spent a lot of my time with Kumbaya. I found that uh, group meetings with them were, were especially helpful because we got to share highs and lows and talk about things that were going on during the week and especially because I plan on being a pastor at some point I felt it was a good segue into that type of uh, work. I got more used to the student body size and um, progressively learned that it was a perfect fit for me. Professors here are very helpful and give you some great guidance. I think Carthage lives up to the small liberal arts college ideal. I'm a sociology major and all the professors in the department are really supportive. Just how much they help you develop, mature, and take on responsibilities and show you who you are really just made it worth it. Well, you know that time between baccalaureate and commencement? Well, I decided to bring my Weber grill and set it up. But I didn't realize that the grill was right next to the air intake for the chapel. Fill the chapel up with smoke. Oops. It was like a Saturday morning. Didn't think we'd see anybody important. So, you know, I was actually wearing these pants and just a sweatshirt. She was wearing a baseball cap. Just not at our best. And we're walking back from our car, lo and behold, to see who, Shannon? The Fray. The Fray. The band. The band. The Fray the fray that came here. And it was pretty embarrassing, but it still didn't stop us from stalking them and asking to take pictures with them. And 
the two cutest ones we got pictures with, so that's all that matters. Trevor Parker was in the musical, The Fantastics. He was doing a scene where he was supposed to walk off the stage, down the stairs, and into the front area there by the seats. And it was our Sunday performance, and he just walked right off the stage into the pit orchestra and made a big crash right during the performance and just got up and like nothing happened and walked away. It was, it was hilarious. Every day after class, we'd walk back um, and then go play racquetball together. Playing racquetball with Emily started our freshman year. I had started playing, I was talking about it, and she was like, oh, I'd, I'd really like to play or sometime. And I was like, well, I'll teach you how to play. And he beat me every single game. He wasn't even a gentleman and let me win once, but that's okay. She has, she has beaten me. Not, not a whole lot, but she, yes, definitely has beaten me. I had this one guy in front of me, he was walking in the class, and he just totally wiped out on the ice, right? And I'm, I'm laughing, I'm laughing so hard, and then I gasp for air, and the next thing you know, my feet and legs are in there. And I just bust my stuff too, that wasn't, that wasn't so cool, but it's not funny. <laughs> Chris Hightower is the president of Phi Alpha Theta, and so he was responsible for organizing that initiation. And I think Chris knew in theory that as somebody who works on monarchies and royal courts that I was really interested in ceremonial. But he found out on that day that he was organizing this initiation um, what a dictator I could be about ceremonial things. It was like three o'clock in the morning and we decided let's go rafting down the Pike River. Not a great idea because we came back completely muddy and just gross, but we had the time of our lives. It was so much fun and I'd do it again. Life as an RA was always fun. It had to be one of my favorite memories is walking around. Just the residents, you know, they like to kind of heckle. It's always been a blast. You really got to know a lot of people. Last year, I came back really late at night to South and the place was just trashed. The second floor was absolutely a pigsty, worse than I'd ever seen it, and I was just not gonna take it anymore. So I woke up the whole floor, uh, got out the vacuums, got out the mops, and I made everyone clean everything up, and security like came on, and it wasn't as funny for the people we woke up, but uh, the security guards and I and a couple of the RAs were really having a good time. When I think of students that have impacted me, my voice student, Trevor Parker, is at the very top of the list. In fact, in my time at Carthage since 1991, I'm not sure a single student has impacted me so much. Yeah, I'd say Greg Berg, um, my voice teacher, and who's turned out to be one of my best friends in the world. Trevor has worked so hard that I had to work twice as hard just to keep up with him. And with a voice student and a, and a teacher, you get extremely close anyway because it's all one-on-one. -on -one and that's just been the greatest experience of, of my teaching career really to have someone who has put so much of himself into this and inspired me to, to really do the same. President Campbell has been influential in my time here at Carthage because I see his life and his vigor for life and I want to emulate those same kind of things in my life. Chris Hightower. Nick Winkler was probably the made the biggest impact on me. Justin Moses. Getting to know him, getting to know his personality, seeing how he could lead a group of people without having to be absolutely in charge of things. Some of the, the really people that kind of stand out that I've worked with over the past four years and, and uh, that are graduating this year. Miss Laura, an advisor. She, she's an advisor for multiple organizations that I'm involved in and I've talked to her one-on-one -on -one multiple times and she's really believed in me and helped me believe in myself. One professor that really stood out was Professor Kuhn. Talked to Cynthia Contreras recently about her student teaching experience. He actually was very influential in my switch to switch my major. I actually came in as a Spanish major and switched over to history. I know she is taking some of the things that she got from my classroom into the classroom in Kenosha. He really helped me develop as a student, I think, and also hopefully as a teacher, since that's what I'm going into. Daddy Malin. <laughs> also known as Coach Bowen for the, for the football team. He, uh, wow, yeah, he impacted my life a lot. You know, he was, he was, he was like the grandfather of, like for me here at school. Professor Heitman, I had him my sophomore year for a foundations class. Professor Heitman was just, he's just so cool because he's like, just, you know, a little bit more eccentric. He's kind of crazy, like in his classes, he, he'll let you, you know, say whatever's on your mind. And but he really taught me to think very deeply and very reflectively 
Yuri Maltsov really made an impact, not only uh, academically, but he's, he's a good person, a good friend, and as a professor goes, he's been one of my best. I think that like I just had a good group of friends who were always there for me, and they were there in, been there in different situations. My group of friends that I, that I came into really helped me. They've supported me, and then my professors, of course, you know, that was there to teach me, of course, but then also to give me a good laugh every now and then, and do what professors do. It's trying to balance your social life and your academic life. And I think I came into Carthage thinking it was going to be all academic and college is going to be so hardcore. And uh, I think the challenges that I faced have just been not knowing exactly where I'm going. Picking a major was one of the biggest challenges that I faced here at Carthage. I used to kind of want to do everything in a group. I felt like I had to take it upon myself. I've really work on identifying who I am and what's, what values are important to me in my life. One of my biggest fears for the future is that I'm going to be bald. Well, the biggest fear I had was making friends, like getting to know people. Balancing my schoolwork with my social life, and I did come into problems with that. Time management, I had a really big problem with that. I think just staying focused is a challenge because you're always wanting to have fun and go out and party. A challenge for us as best friends and roommates has been we both tend to get stressed out easily. Some of the fears that I had coming in dealt with adjustment. Three weeks living in another country, accepting other cultures and customs, and being with the same people on a J-term trip for that amount of time. It was challenging. When I came here, I was very afraid of my writing ability. For me, I've had to definitely grow on my faith as a Christian, define my faith for my own. There are certainly some intimidating problems that confront humankind right now, and uh, I would like to think that there are lots of people in this class that will make a difference for the better. Balancing, you know, the failures with the successes. I think I am a lot more prepared for going into the, you know, the real world, the job world. I've learned to help manage that a lot more and trust more people that are very capable of doing certain tasks. And I have come to this campus and succeeded as an individual. It makes me believe that I can do that just about anywhere I go, if I set my mind to it. And because of that uncertainty and um, just the surprise of it all, I just, I really, I don't know what to expect and that makes me afraid. It was hard, but I'm ready for more. Being here these past four years, I realized that everything works out in the end, and I don't need to stress so much. I feel that what I've learned and been exposed to here at Carthage will provide me with all the tools necessary. And I know that I have gained some friends here that I'll have for a lifetime. Finding that first, first job, that's my first fear. But once I get that first job, Carthage has prepared me the rest of the way. It's just going to be so drastically different. I'm going to miss Carthage so much. My parents have always just told me to be myself and stand up for who I am. And if somebody doesn't agree with that, that's OK. Um, but not to compromise who I am for somebody else. I feel that my friends are real with me. And they've taught me that it's OK to be who you are. It's OK to do what you like to do. And it's OK um, to love one another. Being a human being nowadays is really complicated and it's difficult, you know, life is hard. But throughout all that, you know, we still have to keep going, we still have to keep learning and keep pressing on, even in spite of those difficulties that we encounter. This is your future, this is the beginning of your future. <laughs> I'm terrified of the future, um, but I think everybody is. I'm not ready to be a grown-up. There's a lot of things that I'm sure we don't even realize yet. The problems that we're going to have or the struggles we'll have. But we'll make it.